Hello and welcome to another Flight Gear tutorial. Today I want to show you some of the features of the ground proximity warning systems that are installed in modern airliners and that are also modeled in the Flight Gear simulator. So today we are using the uh, Boeing 777, which is by far the most popular uh, model in Flight Gear. And uh, there we got some, uh, some nice features of the ground proximity warning system. It is based on the radio altimeter of the plane. So there is a radio transmitter and a receiver uh, on the, on the uh, belly of the plane to get a precise um, reading of, of the ground clearance. And uh, for example, if you're attempting a landing maneuver, without having lowered the gear or with insufficiently lowered flaps, there should be an audible warning that uh, tells you what to do. In, in the normal circumstances, you would either lower the gear immediately or more likely uh, do a go around maneuver. So that's something we want to try today. So I will try what happens if I have lowered the flaps only to 15 degrees instead of 30 or 45 and also not having lowered the gear. So maybe I've skipped the, the checklist or something. Uh, so we will simulate this today. What happens? Uh, what does the pilot actually hear uh, if you forgot the gear or the flaps? So let's have a look at the scenario first. We are here located on the old Kai Tak airport just for simplicity. You see from here we can do a very uh, quick and easy ILS approach to the new Hong Kong airport. And uh, so we already adjusted the ILS frequency. So we will attempt a fully automatic ILS landing, but we will make some mistakes with the, with the gear and the flaps. And let's see how the plane reacts to that. So let's get into the pilot seat. We have already prepared for takeoff. I will unpause the simulation. So flaps are already on 15 degrees. We will release the wheel brakes. And start our takeoff maneuver. So as usual, apply maybe 40% of thrust. And now full toga thrust. Okay. Retract the gear. We will keep the flaps to 15 degrees because this will just be a short bunny hop from one Hong Kong airport to another. So we activate the auto throttle. We keep the speed at 190 knots and we activate the autopilot. Hold. Okay, and let's climb with 2000. Um, flight level change. So we will climb to 3,000 feet and from there we will already descend to the, to, uh, the airport uh, of uh, Hong Kong. So we can already activate the localizer because we are already close to the ILS uh, beam. So 3,000 feet will do. And we will keep the, um, the flaps in position 15 degrees and we will also keep the gear up. And let's listen to the board computer's warnings. 
so the plane should perform a left turn automatically now that it has intercepted the ILS glide slope. It will turn left and right again. Here we already got the runway in sight where we are planning to do the landing maneuver. So let's lower the speed already, but I will keep the flaps always in the same position, 15 degrees. Okay, we are ready to intercept the glide slope. Now we should also start sinking with something around 700 800 feet per minute this is a standard uh, three degrees glide slope and the first warning we should receive is uh, the normal the normal um, touchdown speed is something around 135 knots so i will adjust the auto throttle to 135 but as we do not lower the the flaps to to full flap extension um, there should first be a warning a stall warning from from the uh, yoke there should be the stick shaker and also another audible warning that we are too slow um, and then we will accelerate a little bit to a speed of maybe 145 uh, knots and that should do for a landing it's a little bit too fast normally for landing you should be around 140 135 but um, in case of emer emergency and with a long landing strip it should be and now you can hear this rattling noise it's the stick shaker so this is a stall warning when you get into this red zone we are now too slow for our flaps position that's the first indication that our flaps uh, setting is wrong instead of correcting the flaps we will speed up a little to let's say 145 that should patch it up for the time being because we want to test the uh, ground proximity warnings uh, that the plane ca can uh, tell us. So we are now, um, we have intercepted the ILS and also the glide slope. We are now on approach in approach mode. So that's all okay. We're a little bit over speed, but that's still good enough. And now let's listen to the to the plane's computer. So there should be a 500 feet call out first. That's still um, as usual, as if we're doing everything right. 500, too low gear. So I get a gear warning, I lower the gear. You can see it. Minimums, minimums, too low flap. So I get the flaps low, warning. Flap. I'm lowering the flaps to maximum. One hundred. Reduce the speed a little, and just perform a fully 20, automatic ILS 40, touchdown. 30, Let's see if that works. Twenty. Ten. The plane flares by itself. Very nice, smooth touchdown. That's. Disconnect autopilot and auto throttle. We're using auto brakes, and now we also use the wheel brakes. With the speed of 30 knots, we are able to just vacate the runway to the left.
and we will stop the plane here at this first holding position okay activate parking brake and this is it already so from my point of view this test was successful so with a fairly modern plane like the uh, Boeing uh, B777-300 um, there are warning systems to to uh, warn you in case you have skipped your your landing checklist and forgotten to lower the gear or to lower the flaps sufficiently if you listen to the to the uh, voice of the board computer and react accordingly you should still be fairly safe even if you made a mistake with the with the landing uh, checklist so this is it for today uh, thanks for watching and see you again next time goodbye